I got a ride from the airport to my parents' home. So it was like a 45 minute ride. Got an Uber ride. And this Uber driver is young, I don't know, 20, young 20s tops, young guy from Colombia, South America. But he's real, real talkative. And he's talking with me. And he goes, hey, you know, the Jews, ooh, there's a lot to look up from you guys and to learn from you guys. You guys are just successful and in so many ways. He says, maybe, maybe, you could get, <laughs> maybe you could give me some advice. Like, what should I invest in? <laughs> you got the wrong guy for that. <laughs> He sees Jew. He thinks Jews are rich. He did not know me. <laughs> I said to him, I cannot give you advice in that field. It's not my area of expertise. I said, but if you want, I'll give you advice that is more important than anything else. And my friends sitting there, driving back from LaGuardia. With a young... Non-Jewish man. I told him this. I said, if you want your life to be happy... Don't sell the things that really matter for the things that don't. Don't sell out your marriage for a relationship, a fleeting moment, a passion, a pleasure. Don't sell out your kids to make more money. Don't live your whole life looking to buy a bigger house. Don't dance on, dance on the edge with the devil. Invest in the things that matter. Obviously for him, I wasn't talking about all of the Torah that we are so lucky to have. But I spoke about family. I spoke about kindness. Give to others. Be the person you want to be. That when you go to sleep at night, you feel complete. That you were meaningful. Have a relationship with your kids. Invest in paradise. I said, because you could go and become a millionaire and your life will be miserable until you stop caring about the money. And if you care about the things that matter and you invest in the things that matter and you're plugged into the things that are significant, the real light from heaven, the light of the human being you can be, then you will be happy no matter how little money you have. I told him that, my friends. So don't think I drummed this up for you. And sitting in this car... This young fellow from Colombia thanked me profusely and acknowledged how true these words were. In that moment in the car, a moment of clarity in a crazy world, we both sat there together acknowledging this is true, this is real, and it's not easy. It's not easy to stay on course. But for our life, our pleasure, our happiness, our greatness, that's what we need to do.